Paul Quentin Hurst, the 20th of May 1946, Holberton, the 17th of June 2003, London, was a British sociologist and political theorist. He became professor of social theory at Birkbeck, University of London in 1985 and held the post until his death from a stroke and brain hemorrhage. Biography <inaudible> 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 On 20 May 1946, Hurst was born in Holberton, Devon. His father was in the armed forces and part of this childhood was spent in Germany. He went to grammar school in Plymouth, he studied social science at the University of Leicester, where he was taught by Sami Zubaida, and took his master's in sociology at the University of Sussex. Hurst studied at the University of Leicester, one of his teachers was Sami Zubaida. He did his master's in sociology at the University of Sussex before taking up a lectureship at Birkbeck College in 1969. In 1972, he was one of the founding members of the Department of Politics and Sociology at Birkbeck. He was appointed reader in social theory in 1978 and professor seven years later. During the 1970s, he became well known, along with Barry Hindus, as the main figure in British structural Marxism. By the late 1970s and 1980s, however, Hearst had become a critic of Louis Althusser's brand of Marxism. Drawing upon Foucault but also Quine and Wittgenstein, he criticized essentialism, epistemological discourses, and the possibility of any general theory, in a move against Keller's sociological constructionist imperialism. In his work on democratic governance, he turned towards the ideas of the English political pluralists, J. N. Figgis, G. D. H. Cole, and Harold Lasky. During the late 1980s and early 1990s, Hearst developed a theory of associationalism which attempted to revive social democracy by providing an alternative to state socialism and free market liberalism. He also made important contributions to critical legal theory. His later work, with Graham Thompson resulted in an influential criticism of fashionable theories of economic globalization, demonstrating the continued importance of the nation-state. His book War and Power is a historical sociological analysis of the development of the modern state and state system and addresses some of current political challenges including climate change. His last book, Space and Power, clearly demonstrated his intellectual scope. In the book, he investigates the relationship between space and power, arguing that the exercise of power is both constrained by and shapes the character of the built environment. With Mark Cousins, Colin Maccabee, and Richard Humphreys, he founded the London Consortium in 1993. He chaired the executive committee of Charter 88 and was an early and regular contributor to Open Democracy. Topic selected bibliography Hearst, P. and Hindus, B. Pre-capitalist modes of production. London, Routledge and Keegan Paul, 1975. Hearst, P. on Law and Ideology. London, Macmillan, 1979. Hearst, P. and Woolley, P. Social Relations and Human Attributes. London, Routledge, 1982. Hearst, P. Law, Socialism and Democracy. London, Harper Collins, 1986. Hearst, P. Carl Schmitt's Decisionism. 
Telos 72, Summer 1987. New York, Telos Press. Hearst, P. Representative Democracy and Its Limits. Cambridge, Polity, 1990. Hearst, P. Associative Democracy. Cambridge, Polity, 1993. Hearst, P. From Statism to Pluralism. London, UCL Press, 1997. Hearst, P. and Thompson, G. Globalization in Question. Cambridge, Polity, 1999. Hearst, P. War and Power in the 21st Century. Cambridge, Polity, 2001. Hearst, P. Space and Power, Politics, War and Architecture. Cambridge, Polity, 2005. Topic: Journals. Statism, Pluralism and Social Control. The British Journal of Criminology, Volume 40, Issue 2, the 1st of March 2000, pp. 279 to 295.